Hello and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to apply the world animations to the CSGO world models and the view animations to the CSGO view models. I will not be showing you guys how to do the additive animations. For some reason in Blender it doesn't seem to work and we believe it's because of the add-on. If you don't know what an additive animation is it's basically where you combine two animations to make like one whole complete animation or it could just be adding like an additional part to a base animation I guess you could call it I'm going to see if I can try and solve it but I know how to do all the other ones and it's really really simple so I thought I might as well not keep you guys waiting as I had a few requests for this video before we get started, make sure to watch my video on how to extract, decompile and import the CSGO models and animations. You will need the files from that video in order for this to work, otherwise you won't have the CSGO models or animations unless you've done it somewhere else. I also want to shout out Devastated for helping me with the view model animations. I'll put his link in the description, I'm sure he doesn't need the help anyway. I appreciate it. Anyway, let's open up Blender and get started. Something I forgot to mention during the intro is that I will not be showing you guys how to import these animations into other software such as Maya, Cinema 4D or Unreal. I would assume you can just import these animations as FBX. I haven't tried it myself. If you guys do struggle with this, let me know and I'll see what I can do about it and maybe make a video for it in the future. With that being said, let's start with the world animations for the guns. So we're going to select our default cube and if you have your camera and all that, just delete it all. We don't need any of it. Next, we're going to go to File, Import, Source Engine. Now we're going to want to find our decompiled animations and models. So mine is here open up CSGO, models, weapons. Now we're gonna to wanna to scroll down until we get to a folder that starts with a W. The W is gonna represent world. This is for when you have people running around and you can see all the other allies and enemies. That's the world view from the POV view. So it's basically just the opposite of POV view. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'm going to find a weapon so let's choose the AK. So we've got Worldview Rifle AK. Open that up. We're going to import the SMD and the SMD mag to select two of them. You can hold down control and left click. You can leave the default settings on as normal. We're then going to click import. Once your file has been imported, I'm just going to zoom out. And as you can see, we have our skeleton with the AK. And this is exactly what you want. Next, we need to add a character to this skeleton. So we'll go to File, Import, Source Engine. I'm going to click back until we get back to the player file. Open up player file. I'm then going to scroll down to legacy. Uh, so I'm going to scroll down to custom player then open up legacy next we're going to select any of these character models in legacy these are the most up-to-date character models if we go back these are the older ones and I've found that the animations tend to break when using these older models so it's best to just stick with the more modern ones now I'm just going to use FBI and we're going to select the CTM FBI SMD and the gloves SMD. Again, with default settings on, we're then going to click import. Once that has been imported, you can see that our character model is here. So all he is missing now is an animation. So we're going to go to file, import, source engine. We're going to go back to our AK folder, which I'm just going to come down here and select on my recents. 
in the AK folder, we have the AK animations. I'm going to open it and I'm going to select the standing reload SMD. We're then going to click on import with the default settings. As you can see, he is now standing and if we click play on the playback, he is now reloading perfectly. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to import the world view but with knives. It's pretty much exactly the same as what we've just done for the weapons, however the animations are located in a different folder, which I'll just show you guys quickly now. So I'm going to go to File, Import, Source Engine. Again, we're going to go to Decompiled Models, CSGO, Models, Weapons. We're then going to scroll down until we get to our world view folders and I'm going to select one of the knives so any of the knives can be used for example you can use a bayonet butterfly knife it doesn't matter there won't be separate animations for these ones the animations will the same animation will work for all the knives so we're going to open up the bayonet and I'm going to import the .smd again we have our skeleton and our knife attached Next, we're going to want to import our character model. So we'll go to Source Engine. We're going to go all the way back to Player. Scroll down to Custom Player. Legacy. Select the character that you want. Make sure to select the model and the gloves. We're going to hit Import. And bang. He's back. Next, we want our knife animation. We'll go to File, Import, Source Engine. Now our knife animation is actually in the player folder. So we're going to go back until we find animation set CT or T, depending on your character model. Next, we'll click on animation set CT animations. And as you can see, we have all these animations available to us. So we're gonna scroll until we find a knife animation. Okay, here we are. So we have knife fire back. Let's use this one. We're going to import it. As you can see, he's now changed position. And if we click play, he's now stabbing. Of course, depending on what animation you want, it will change. Let's see if I can find the classic, the classic knife one, which I had before. If I can scroll. Do, 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 do. A knife fire front here. This is the more classical one that you see. There you go. Cool. Let's move on to the next one. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to do the view model animations. This one is pretty much exactly the same, but we just need to change some bones. It might sound complicated, but it's really not. So we're going to go into the view model, uh, view model into file, import, source engine. Next, we're going to go down to our decompile models and animations, open up CSGO, models, weapons. We're then going to scroll down until we find the view model that we want. Obviously the view model is essentially the animations and the models for the POV view. So let's not use the AK again. Let's see if we can, let's use the AWP. Let's open up the AWP and we want the SMD AWP model. Import with default settings. As you can see, the AWP has loaded in. We have got the skeleton and the AWP model. Now we need an animation, so we'll go to File, Import, Source Engine. It will load up the same folder. In that folder we have the animations. Open that up and let's use the AWP Reload animation. Import that with the default settings. As you can see it's changed, we'll click play just to see if it's working. And it is. We've now got AWP that reloads itself. Cool. So we're going to convert this to an FBX file. So we'll go to File, Export, 
FBX. Now, you can save this wherever you want. Create a folder. I'm just going to go to my desktop. You can create a folder by clicking this button here. I'm just going to call it YouTube Tuts. Very original name. We're going to open it up. Now I'm just going to call this AWP Reload. I'm then going to click Export FBX. Next, we're going to delete everything. Delete everything in the collections. And now we're going to want to get our arms. So we'll go to File, Import, Source Engine. I'm going to click back until we get back to our weapons folder, which is here. As you see, we've got our T arms and our CT arms. I'm just going to use the CT arms. Open up the folder you want and open up the SMD file. Import. And here we go. <coughs> now this is where we're going to have to rearrange some bones. So we'll go into the edit mode. And I'm going to show you guys what happens. I don't know exactly the technicalities behind it all. But with the skeletons that we have, and we just imported and made an FBX, you'll see that the arms, these forearms and forearms twist, if you were to go and look at the skeletons, they're not parented and they're in a certain order. The same with the V weapon. So in order to match that skeleton, we're going to need to unparent these. So you can use control and left click to select them here, or you can just highlight these two dots. Either way is fine. We're then going to right click, click on parent, click on clear, and then clear parent. And if you look at these black lines here, which you now can't see, if you look at that black line, we'll then click clear parent, and now the line has gone and if you can see we have our arm parented bones here and if you were to close all this up this is what the beginning of our other skeleton looks like the bone order will be exactly like this so once you have done that now we just need to apply the animation that we want so of course we want the same animation that we had just applied to our FBX so that the animations match. So we'll go on import source engine. We'll click back and we'll scroll until we find our AWP folder again. I've gone past it. There we go. AWP into animations and we use the AWP reload. We'll click import. And as you can see, if we click play, We've got a functioning view model animation. Amazing. So we'll go back and I'm going to click File, Import, FBX, because obviously we want the AWP back in our scene. So find where you saved your AWP FBX reload animation. Click on it, Import, make sure animation has been selected. It should be on for default anyway click on import and now if we click play oh I'm going backwards what have I done we click play look at that we've got a view model animation working so for our last one we're just gonna do the view model knife animations it's basically exactly the same as we've just done for the view model weapon animations but the animations are located in a slightly different place, so I thought I'd just show you guys. So we'll go to File, Import, Source, Engine, and you guys know the drill. Just go to your decompiled models, CSGO, Models, Weapons. Scroll down until you find the view, the view models, and select your knife. So we're going to use the butterfly knife, and of course import the SMD. And here we go. Same as the four skeletons here, weapon is here. Let's get the animation. File import source engine. Now as you can see, it doesn't have the animations in our view model 
view model folder. So where are they? Well, we need to go back. And for some reason, they are separate. Probably just some code and stuff. I don't really know why they're separate, but they are here. So we'll open up the Butterfly Knife animations. Again, open up the animations folder. Next, just select whichever one you want. So I'm going to go for light hit and make sure when you import, import animations is ticked, but it should be on buffer default. Import the animation. And as you can see, it's changed position. We'll click palette. And as you can see, we've got a working animation. We're going to go back and we'll go to file export as fbx just as before i'm going to go to my youtube tut folder and just call this knife animation i believe it was the, the light hit i could be wrong but i'm going to export it with default settings select it all and delete next we are going to import the gloves again so we will go back to our weapons folder select any arms you want smd and import and again you'll have to do this bone rearrangement so we'll go to edit mode if you know exactly where the bones are located we'll just select that one and select this one using a shift so left click select and drag xc has highlighted the bones for ourselves right click parent clear clear parent now what you can do is you can save these as a backup so you don't have to do this clearing parent every single time obviously that will save you some time so next we are going to import our animation the same one we already applied so i'm just going to use my recent files just to hurry up the tutorial along i think it was light hit one i might be wrong but i'm going to import it i'm going to click play that looks like the same animation i could be wrong but i think it is anyway we're about to find out so we'll go to file import fbx gonna go to where my fbx knife animation is Click on import, make sure animation is turned on. Import, and there we go. Click play. Look at that, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So this is exactly where you would export your stuff as FBX. Assuming you can just import this as an FBX and it'll work, I don't know. But of course this is where you would export it. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out Devastated in the description. Also, we have a Discord if you are interested in joining my Discord. If you want any extra help, feel free to join. Link will be in the description. Also, I have some extra resources that you might be interested in, such as CSGO maps for Blender that you can just open up the file and use. So it will save you all that importing time and all the errors are gone. Again, if you're interested in that, link in the description. This tutorial is already probably way too long. See you later, guys. Enjoy. Peace.